This video is created for version 3.0 in SolSmart POS. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the SPIF system in SolSmart POS. A SPIF is an immediate incentive fund or a bonus that is paid by a manufacturer or an employer to a salesperson for selling a certain product. Similarly, Boost Mobile or any other wireless service brand pays a certain amount of bonus to store owners for selling their service. For example, let's say Boost Mobile pays us $10 or 10% for every new activation done through Boost Mobile, which would be considered as a SPIF, and we can enter that in Cellsmart POS. To do so, you may first make sure that you have created carrier plans so you can select those plans when starting up your SPIFs. For details on plan management and how to create a carrier plan and adding add-ons, you may click the link above. So let's add a SPIF to our carrier plan by going into the Admin Tools tab, then clicking on the SPIF button, and here you'll be presented with the SPIF calculation module where you can view your pending, received, and voided SPIFs. And you can also manage your SPIFs. So let's click on manage. And here we'll be presented with the list of all the SPIFs we have added in the past. So let's add a new SPIF by clicking on the new button. And here you may select the starting date of the SPIF by clicking the drop down menu and selecting a date. So let's keep it as it is. And now let's go ahead and select our carrier by clicking on the drop down menu and let's go ahead and select Boost Mobile. And once you select your carrier, the plans that you have added to that carrier will show up under plans. So let's go ahead and click on the drop down menu and this will give you all the plans that you have added to the carrier. For now we have only one plan added to this carrier so let's select the $60 unlimited data plan and make sure that the SPIF is active and let's go ahead and click on the add SPIF button to add the SPIF. And once you add the SPIF, you'll be given the option of entering the incentive fund or the bonuses that you'll be getting from your manufacturer. So let's say Boost Mobile will pay us $10 for every new activation. So we can enter that amount under the new activation. Or if it were to be a percentage, you can also enter that percentage amount by entering the percentage sign. So let's keep it as cash in this case and remove the percentage sign. And now we can go ahead and click on the save button. But before we do so, there's a few things that you should keep in mind. The SPIFs that are added are monthly based, as you can see here. And this is the first month. And you can also add the SPIFs for the upcoming months by clicking on the add SPIF button. And the software will give you the option to enter the SPIF information for the upcoming months as well. And if you would like to delete a SPIF that you have added, you can simply click on the SPIF and click on the delete SPIF button. And now let's go ahead and click on the save button to add the SPIF. And the SPIF has been added. Now let's try to do a new activation and see how the SPIF shows up in the SPIF system. So let's head towards the main dashboard. And let's enter our IMEI number in the item code field. And press enter. And let's select our sale type as a new activation. And enter the phone number if you have it with you or leave it blank to enter it later. And next we may select our carrier. So let's go ahead and select Boost Mobile. And the $60 unlimited data plan was automatically selected as you can see here. And we can also add any add-ons if we would like to. So let's leave that for now and let's go ahead and click save. And now that the activation is added to the invoice, let's proceed with the checkout and click save. And once you receive the phone number, you can refer back to your pending activations by clicking the pending activations button. And here you may enter your phone number and click on the save button and now the activation is complete and now if we go into our SPIF calculations again we can see that the SPIF is showing under the pending SPIFs tab and from here we can edit receive or avoid any SPIF and you can also filter your SPIFs by changing the dates and also check the show deleted SPIFs button to view all your deleted SPIFs so let's say Boost Mobile paid you the SPIF and you want to mark the SPIF as received you can do that by selecting the SPIF through the list, clicking on the receive button, clicking on OK to confirm, and here you may enter the reason or any notes. So let's just enter $10 received and click OK. And the SPIF is now received. And you can view all your received SPIFs by going into the received SPIF tab. And to void a SPIF, you may select the SPIF, click on the void button, 
click OK to confirm, enter the reason, let's say it was a mistake, and let's click OK. And the spiff is now weighted, and you can also find that spiff in the weight tab. And you can also edit a spiff by selecting the spiff, clicking on the edit button, and you can change the invoice date or the spiff amount. And that's how you add spiffs to your carrier plans in Cellsmart POS.